The one I have is the uh, 7080T Professional Series. It's got a uh, capacity rating of like 300 pounds um, and it extends up to 12 foot. Um, I haven't really seen any videos online of people actually climbing these ladders, which was really irritating to me when I was looking for reviews on this ladder. So I figured I would put one out. Um, so I just went ahead and bought the ladder. Um, I bought it so I could get into shuttle holes that are inside people's closets um, and carrying a ladder upstairs. I'm, I'm a shorter guy, so carrying an eight-foot ladder up uh, somebody's stairs or inside their house so I can get to the second level of their house so I can get to a shuttle hole is just a real pain in the ass. Um, so I was kind of done with that, so I wanted to uh, try something out like this. Uh, somebody at work told me that, well, a guy that used to work with us told me about this uh, telescoping ladder that he used to have and that it would work really well. So uh, this is the one that I uh, decided to go with, the extended climb. There's a lot of different uh, telescoping ladders out there, but this one um, actually had a warranty. It's been around for a while. Um, and it was one of the few ladders that had a 300 pound uh, weight capacity. Um, I wanted a, you know, as much weight capacity as possible because me being about 195 pounds and then uh, you know carrying you know somewhere around 60 pounds of tools sometimes plus parts um, I wanted something that could carry the weight so uh, anyways I'll show you the ladder real quick here it is down there that's what it folds down to about 36 inches high or so um, each rung extends one foot, so uh, you, know, you pull it up like this, and it locks into place. You'll see the uh, little green dots. So it does that all the way up, um, and then it folds back down. So I'm here at home today and uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this thing to uh, get into scuttle holes and whatnot, which my scuttle hole is right up there. So you can see I'm going to have to uh, use the ladder to move the scuttle hole cover up and then once I get up there I can finish taking the scuttle hole cover off, so I just want to show you. I'm going to go about using the thing um, and why I think it's going to be a really great choice. Um, I've used the ladder quite a bit already. I've had it fully extended. It's full 12 and a half feet or whatever it is. Um, and it's very strong. I mean, it, it, it does bow a little bit, but to be honest with you, this ladder doesn't flex as much as my regular extension ladder that I've got on my work truck. Um, it's actually very solid. The whole thing weighs about 39 pounds or so. It's it's definitely a lot heavier than it looks. Um, it's a really good ladder, really well made. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. There we go, that should work. So like I just kind of showed you here with the ladder up against the wall. My fucking big head is probably in the way. I'm just gonna pull each rung. And make sure that they lock into position. use that top one to kind of grab. Alright, so you can see there I pushed the scuttle hole in just a little bit with that top rung and then down here at the bottom it's got the uh, I mean I don't really like this gap here I'm sure there's something I can do about that you know there's looks like four rungs that aren't opened up but uh, I mean it's not a big deal to me, but it is kind of a safety thing that people will look at. Um, so that's just that is what it is. So you'll be able to. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, climb this thing and get up there and show you how I'll uh, be moving the scuttle hole cover out of the way.
So that's how I'll be getting into the attic. And that getting out is going to be just the same. Back on as much as I can, and then just collapsing the ladder from there helps it closes the shuttle hole for me. There you go. And this is how the ladder collapses. And that's it. Now the ladder's back down to its original size. That simple, I'll take you outside and I'll fully extend it and climb on it and uh, show you guys that. Using extended climb ladder to do this uh, is definitely a lot less cumbersome than using an A-frame ladder, a six-foot or an eight-foot. And also for those ones where you don't quite need an eight-foot ladder, and you use a six-foot ladder, but really you can use something like seven-foot ladders. Um, you know, you got to pull yourself into an attic. This is real nice because all you have to do now is literally you're just walking into the attic now. It's much safer. Same thing when you're leaving the attic, you don't have to, uh, you know, do a dip to the ladder. Now you just step to the rung, and you don't have to worry about taking the shuttle hold pin out and start going down the ladder. Much safer. This ladder is really awesome. Um, at this point, I definitely do recommend this extended climb ladder. It's amazing. It's really, really strong. I mean, I'm bouncing on it right now. It's not slipping. Not a lot of flex in it. A really good ladder. Um, I would definitely recommend it. So uh, with that, guys, we'll uh, see you next time.